and welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine destine okay if you are new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's goody we are back with a new video i'm gonna be doing another maintenance vlog so this is gonna be a vlog style maintenance video i have a ton of things that need to get done i actually did my nails yesterday so i didn't get them in this vlog but they're literally this is a fresh set look at how cute she is i did film a nail tutorial for this because this is like my go-to like simple white set so i filled i filmed an updated routine for these nails right here so make sure you guys go and check that out because i'm sure it'll be up before this video but yeah i have a ton of things that i need to do i need to wax my face and my body i need to shave my legs i need to do my hair i need to do um some body hair in the shower skincare i need to wash my hair like when i say do my hair i need to wash it and then actually style it because i do have plans later on we're just getting um all the way together together you know so if you guys are excited for this video i know you love my maintenance vlog videos and so make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the fam we almost had 100k i love you guys so much and let's just get right into this video okay so we're starting out with turning our shower on i've got it all the way up so it's as hot and steamy as i like it and then we're gonna jump in the shower of course and wet our hair i'm gonna start off by washing my hair want to wet it make sure that it's fully soaked and then I'm gonna go in with the current shampoo that I've been using as of recently it's really good it's from Aussie this is the miracle curls shampoo with coconut and jojoba oil I really like this shampoo it makes my hair and my scalp feel really clean um, without feeling like it's drying or stripping basically all of the oils out of my hair and I think that's mostly because of the coconut and jojoba oil that's in the shampoo itself so I'm just going to really focus on making sure that my scalp gets fully exfoliated I really like massaging my scalp with my fingers love a fresh set to do this because it just makes it feel that much better Then I'm gonna go and rinse that out, of course, wash out that shampoo. I live for moments like these, honestly, in the shower. Wash days are usually very like calming for me. I just feel like I'm refreshing my whole vibe you know I'm just going in and really taking care of myself is really important um, this is definitely like a self-care moment self-care day for me I'm going in with the Aussie three minute deep condition conditioner and I'm going to apply that to my hair as well I finger detangle as I'm applying the conditioner so you see me collecting the hair that I'm finger detangling um, I don't lose much hair when I do this and I do love to finger detangle in the shower because it makes detangling with my Denman brush which I'm gonna do in a minute a lot easier but this is all of the hair that I got from finger detangling and then before I go in and I detangle I'm gonna let the conditioner the deep conditioner sit in my hair and I'm going to apply this glam glow exfoliating face mask this is just to help brighten the skin it's going to exfoliate because it does have um, exfoliating beads in it as well so I like to rub it into my skin and lightly exfoliate before I let it sit and dry down you're supposed to leave it on for 20 minutes so that's what I'm gonna do and in the meantime I'm gonna go in and take my Denman brush that the handle is broken so I know it looks a little crazy but still works still gets the job done going to take that and I'm going to fully detangle and since I let that three minute deep conditioner from Aussie sit in my hair this is so simple like literally the brush just glides through my hair um, so, which is like why I really really love the deep conditioner from Aussie because it really just does exactly what it needs to do it has the perfect amount of slip in it and it's a really really good deep conditioner my hair always feels extremely soft 
after I apply this to my hair, let it sit and then detangle. So that is all the hair that I um, lost from detangling with my brush. My hair is fully detangled, no knots, no tangles. Absolutely love it. Feels so soft. And I'm gonna go in with my body wash and I'm going to wash my body. <laughs> clean up make sure that we're nice and sudsy and soapy the one that I'm using today is the pampering body wash from Nivea they have a couple of different scents I really like this one I believe it's like almond and coconut and then I'm gonna go in with my refreshments pillowy shave cream I got this in my ipsy glam bag box love 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 this shaving cream it smells so good but on top of that it really really makes your legs super soft and so shiny like you guys are gonna see how shiny my legs are there's like an oil i think in it and it just obviously helps with making shaving a lot simpler and easier but it also just leaves the most beautiful sheen on your skin and it smells good like it's so nice so highly recommend this shaving cream and then i'm gonna go in with this um sand and sky australian pink sand this is an exfoliator for the body i'm gonna be using this and exfoliating my my whole body i'm gonna use it on my legs use it on my upper body my arms my chest i really like this exfoliating sand it has a very interesting scent i feel like it is probably a scent that's native to australia which is why it's something i've never smelled before but it's very interesting and i like it um, and I just like that the exfoliator really like makes my skin feel super soft. So I like to use this on days that I know I'm going to be waxing and shaving because you're supposed to exfoliate, you know, before waxing and you're definitely supposed to exfoliate after shaving. I'm going to go in and I'm going to wash that deep conditioner out of my hair. Look at my hair, it's just shining. It just looks so good, so healthy. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of water and just exfoliate one more time with that mask, kind of just like rubbing in anything extra that may be sitting on top before I fully rinse off my face. Making sure that I'm exfoliating my lips, you know, getting all areas of the skin. I'm gonna come out the shower literally so slick and smooth smooth like a baby it's gonna be so good gonna go ahead and rinse that off continue to rinse out the conditioner whatever's remaining in my hair squeeze out that excess water and then we're out of the shower okay so we're fully clean i got my savage x fenty um matching lingerie set on underneath and the robe this robe is so cute it has a little lightning bolt in the back that's like lacy I'm gonna go in and wax my underarms because they look so crazy. I'm sure you guys saw like a little peek of them in the shower. I'll be like, whoa. <laughs> so we're definitely gonna go in and wax our underarms. Put down some corn cornstarch first. Um, laid my wax down and I'm ripping it off. <laughs> Honestly, it's the facial expressions for me. Moving on to my face, I'm definitely going to be waxing these brows because they look super unruly. They've just gotten really crazy looking. Honestly, it's been about a month since I've waxed, which is why we are fully grown out. <laughs> so we need to do the eyebrows, we need to do the mustache, 
he did the armpits you know we're just getting ourselves all the way together this maintenance routine just makes me feel like at the end i just feel so feminine i feel so girly i feel so well taken care of and honestly the fact that i'm able to do it for myself and do it at home makes me feel even more comfortable and like just filled with self-love i feel like if you can practice self-love routines like this self-care routines like this you're really just putting time back into yourself and things like that are very important you know as a young woman in this society like we just want to be able to take care of ourselves at the end of the day and if it's something that you don't necessarily want to do for yourself like diy going to get it done is also just very important too like doing these self-care routines spending time with yourself loving on yourself appreciating yourself you know getting yourself back to a point of feeling whole and complete i don't know i just feel like that's where i'm at right now i'm dealing with like a lot of different things in my life like that don't have to do with me and i feel like i let a lot of time go by where i wasn't focusing on myself so it was like okay now we've got to sit down and we've really got to like focus on jasmine and like what is it that jasmine needs jasmine needs all of these things to kind of come together so that she can feel good about herself because i'm one part like literally the one thing that i'm constantly saying is like if you look good you feel good and if you feel good you do good and i'm always wanting to do good so i need to feel good and in order to feel good i need to look good so that's what i'm focusing on for the rest of the month of november honestly and just the rest of the year because i want to finish out this year and really just accomplish the goals that i set for myself and not allow anyone or anything to make me stray off course so um in this whole time that i've been chatting about self-love <laughs> i've been blowing my hair out so i originally was gonna do like a ponytail but that didn't work out so i'm gonna be doing like a hairstyle with my natural hair um but first i wanted to blow it out and i have a full blow dry blowout routine on my channel already i'll have it linked in the upper corner for you guys to tap on and it'll be linked down below in the description box so this is like a very like quick you know run through of it but i'm just blowing out my entire head this routine is so simple this brush this um brush and blow dryer combination is honestly the goat i don't know where this device was when i was blowing my hair out in high school all the time and like frying my hair with a flat iron and struggling to use a brush and a blow dryer in both hands but like this thing is literally like a godsend i don't even like do you see that <laughs> it literally does it in like 15 seconds like you just twist it around keep rolling it keep rolling it and it just does what it needs to do so that is my whole head blown out we've got a little bounce we've got a little curl we've got a little bit of you know just shine the hair is just looking healthy and it's great it's honestly it's so great um this is when i was like okay i think i want to do like a half up half down situation and I want to have like two little pieces of hair in the front that I'm gonna curl that are gonna look super cute. So that's just what I'm doing now. And then I'm taking some edge control and slicking back my edges, pulling my baby hairs out with my toothbrush that I use on my edges, honestly nothing will ever replace this toothbrush like it really does what it needs to do <laughs> and then i put my hair in a half up half down so we got a ponytail on the top got the bottom out mostly because my hair surprisingly even though it looks long when i put it in a ponytail the hairs at the bottom always come out like they don't stay in the ponytail so that was really why I left the bottom out, but honestly, I was like, no, this style is actually really cute, like the half up, half down on my short hair. So I'm just going over my edges, my baby hairs, really sculpting them, making sure that they look 
perfect and then I'm taking my flat iron and I'm just going over the two pieces that I pulled out doing like a nice little curl and then kind of straightening out the ends so that it falls a certain way on my face and then repeating the same thing on the other side taking a little bit of my got to be and spraying those pieces just so that they stay um, in that curl and I'm also going to take the flat iron and kind of just very lightly and quickly run over the hair that's left out at the bottom in the back of my head That is the completed hairstyle. It looks so cute. Oh my god, I was like, wow, this is actually too freaking cute. Like, I love this. I would do my hair like this all the time. And then we're gonna jump over into skincare. Um, starting off with some hyaluronic acid. You know, we exfoliated in the shower. So I'm going in with some hyaluronic acid. You do want your face to be slightly damp when you apply your hyaluronic acid. My fingers were a little damp and I had a little bit of moisture on my skin. And I was just pointing out that I have like this weird like dry patch on the center of my forehead that I kind of like... It's not a dry patch anymore, but it definitely left some discoloration between like my skin and that area. So you can definitely see it there, but... Then I went in with some niacinamide serum, um, applied that to my skin, and then I'm going in with this Glam Glow eye cream. This is like a brightening under eye cream. I really, really like it. It's nice and thick. I do like to apply this before I go to bed, but I will apply it before I apply makeup too, and I really like the way my under eye concealer usually sits right on top of this um, cream. And then I'm going in with my One Love Coconut Water Cream. This cream is so nice. It smells so fresh. It's very light in its consistency, but the moisture and the hydration that it gives to your skin is so good. Like it looks so glowy and it looks so dewy on the skin, but it's not a heavy cream. So it's something that I definitely can wear under makeup or just like in the daytime. Um, and then I use a different cream for like my nighttime routine. So I go in and I apply that and then I'm doing a little bit of marula oil. I always apply marula oil to my skin. My mom's an esthetician and she swears by a marula oil. She knows that I have dry skin and this was something that she sent to me. So it's like I have to use this. And honestly, I just love what it does for my skin, my lashes, my eyebrows, and even my edges. I'll put it on there sometimes. It's really good for all of those things. So I'm just pushing that and patting that into my skin, making sure that I'm like really pushing it into my skin though, because you don't want to like constantly be rubbing an oil, but you do want to apply it in like a pushing motion, like you're pressing it in. And then last but not least, I go in with some sunscreen. This one is from Super Goop. It's their invisible sunscreen, so it's like a clear sunscreen, which I love. And it can also double as a makeup primer. So I told you guys in the beginning of this video I'm going out later, so I just made sure to apply this. But this is always the last step in my skincare. Um, and I just love it because it doesn't give you that weird white slash gray cast that you would normally get with using a sunscreen on the face. This one is clear, obviously, so it does not do that. And I'm also going to be pushing and patting this into my skin as well. Oh, I almost forgot <laughs> that I go in with my Laneige Glowy Lip Mask. I have to apply this. Look at the shine. This is in the peach 
and it's just so good I'm gonna do my body care routine now so we're going in with the Fenty Skin and Bang and Bod Fenty Skin Body Butter and then I have the Bang and Bod Firming Body Lotion so I do the Fenty Skin body butter all over I typically focus this on my legs and my arms though and my chest um, because of the shine the sheen is just so beautiful it honestly gives your body the most hydrated glow this is such a good body butter like oh my gosh on self-care days I love applying this it smells so good And then I didn't physically show you guys, but I do put the Bang & Bod Firming Lotion on my butt and I, t and I apply it to my arms because I want those areas to be firm, right? Duh. Um, and then I go in with my Ebony Wood Fragrance. This is from Zara. It's in collaboration with Jo Malone. This has a very nice like woodsy musk scent but it's not too strong or too masculine and it does have a very warm undertone as well that is my completed self-care maintenance body care routine i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did let me know down below um, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications i love you guys so much don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye